I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha ha. You're mad, Miss Wickiana. Miss Wig, Miss Wig, Miss Wickiana. Miss Wig. Then the day before the reunion, you send me a message, and it was, let's not mention anything here. I'm nervous about today. You know, there's stuff with Kyle and I. You obviously saw in the press the things where she said, you know, I exaggerated our friendship. We've only gone on one trip together as a couple that I can recall. Um, Mo and PK Dre and me. It's not like, you know, my friends, like, you know, we'll go to the gym, we work out together, we hike together. She doesn't do that kind of stuff, so... Um, it was just, it was just. Sends me a text yesterday, basically trying to silence me. Get her, get her, get her. And let's stick together. And the things, I mean, it's out there now. So, you know, you can see it. It just felt like an even bigger slap in the face. And I just thought to myself, I'm not a doormat. Yes, I have a kind heart, but I really care about you. And I really believe that we're friends. This is not the way you treat a friend. There was obviously no way I was going to go into the reunion and not address the issues that we're having in our friendship and what the hell was going on. Well, the, the, the upsetting thing is, listen, I discussed it with Erica in the trailer before the reunion and someone leaked the text message. It was not me. I can tell you that right here, right now. Who was it? What does it rhyme with? I have absolutely <laughs> no idea, but I shouldn't say I have no idea. I don't know who did, but I have an idea. Listen, it's going to be the powers that be because they're the ones that had the text message. By the way, tonight is the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion part three. And I just want you to know, I heard the Smith sisters saying that they had seen Mauricio's Netflix promo where he is talking about the agency and how it started and his feud with Rick Hilton. And I would like to say that I, we address this tonight. We get Kathy and Kyle's side of the story tonight on the Beverly Hills reunion. There are a lot of people who are saying, I, I, I'm seeing online a lot, uh, a lot of people saying that I or Bravo should be pissed about Mauricio revealing stuff on Netflix. I can't believe I'm sitting here, first of I all. I am just... so happy that you are. You know, I remember when you joined Hilton and Highland and we were still there. I was a young boy. Then I left. I don't know if you know that story. Was your goal to be brought in as a partner there? And that just didn't that's just That's exactly okay. what happened. So, you know, I think I got kind of fucked by Hilton and Highland. And, and when I say fucked, you know, like today I'm happy. But there was 100 agents at Hilton and Highland. They did a billion dollars for the first time a year. I was 19.6% of their production. And I went to Rick and I said, I really liked equity, right? And to be a partner, he went back, he talked to Jeff, he got back to me. And basically I was told, no. Then I went home, I talked to Kyle. I go, this is really gonna cause a lot of stress between you and your sister and your family. And I, I don't wanna do this move of leaving and starting a company if you're not comfortable. She was 100% supportive. And then I remember they said to me, how did you not give us any warning or any issue? And I was like, warning? But I would say a lot of what he's revealing is his story to tell. And yeah. a lot, and what Kyle is revealing on Beverly Hills is her side of the story. That's right. So people think, oh, Bravo should be furious. Why is he saying this on his show? Well... It's his show on Netflix. He doesn't I have think... a diamond. Kyle has a diamond. Exactly. And, you know, I think that in the case of this Hilton and Highland stuff, I can't speak for Kyle on any level, but my gut is that there was probably so far she wanted to go on her show because she didn't want to further complicate an already complicated relationship with her sisters. So, um, so there you go. But I do, I did take the opportunity to tea tonight as we were discussing what happened with Mauricio and Kyle's marriage to also find out from Kathy and Kyle from their perspective what 
happened with the split between Mauricio and Rick Hilton. So you don't have to wait for the Netflix show to get their answer. You can see that tonight. Who do you think is most afraid of her in this group? She's Beverly Hills. Yeah. And you don't want to run crossways with this one. Right. Love the holidays so much, and yeah, I felt I like I didn't get to enjoy it enough. Is your tree still up? Are you still have your stuff up? I just took it down. Oh, wow. What yeah. we can do is we can sit you down for now. Uh huh. But I really think that you need to go get checked out somewhere. Okay. Do you want me to come? Okay. okay. I want to come. Can I get something to eat? Sunstruck, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills three-part reunion is wrapping up quite dramatically this week. Um, what can you tease about what happened? Because I know you've cleared some stuff up on social media. Yes, because I did have a medical issue that was serious. And um, I will say this. Let me just start with, like, Andy Cohen was so, like, dear to me. He called Medic right away. And I ended up going to the emergency room with truly one of my best friends, Garcelle. She stayed with me at the emergency room the entire time, which I just, I cannot thank her enough. Um, it ended up that I was suffering from exhaustion, which sounds stupid, but it's a real thing. Yes. And dehydration. I was working a lot between New York and L.A., back and forth, working on my new company, Sutton Brands. And then also had a severe case of bronchitis. And so I was really down for about 10 days. I had to like not, I had to shut my life down, which is very difficult for me. And it took about six weeks for me to feel 100% again. You know, I think as a working mother, we want to be perfect. Yeah. You know, I want to stay on my job and I want to be there for my son. And I just um, burned the candle at both ends and I, I seemingly failed. Well, no, it's one of those moments where your body forces you it to shut down. recalibrate, which I feel is probably needed, especially because yeah. you had a very dramatic season and year and everything on top of it, besides the family stuff. You had a lot of people coming at you hot, which isn't good for... Oh, I'm used to it. Come oh, on. you're that's true. That's true. You're yeah. used to it. Did the two of you come back together, Kathy and mm -hmm. Kyle? I mean, what, what happened? Because we saw this season, you were estranged. When you heard Lisa order Kendall Jenner tequila, did that piss you off? Not at her, but I was angry that Kyle, because I put it in my head, and you know what? I shouldn't put things in my head thinking and then get disappointed. You were mad at Kyle and for not thinking And now I'm embarrassed at myself. What was I supposed to say to her? You're not allowed to order a different tequila? No, no, I'm disappointed because I'm thinking I overthought this and I'm thinking this is a little thing for me. I, I want to explain this. I had been very supportive of Kathy's tequila. Yes. And I think she knows that. I had had it on camera at Diana's. I loved it. I talked about it all the time. So the way that it played out, I'm sorry if it hurt Kathy's feelings. It was never my intention to do that. No, and I got that. I was disappointed by expecting something, thinking, because honestly, I'm so it's my our niece, Whitney, we okay. got married. Yes. So there was a shower. Kim's for, daughter. Right. Okay. So there was a shower. Okay. Um, and then it just sort of like and broke it was, the ice. It was beautiful. And then the next day, it's so silly, Aww. but I've been there so long. <sighs> and I, it's, there's no music and nobody's there. Here, Kyle go, oh my God, that's my sister, Kathy. And she, she came and sat with me. And I'm Oh, wow. Mr. He was like, like really happy and proud and like no one was there. And so I felt so included. Included yeah. and happy. Oh, that's great. Wow. Uh -huh. Um you are separated but still living under one roof. I wanted to do everything possible to just save it. So you know your mom uh, came and she talked to me um, and she said, I think I need space. Um, she said to me, listen, the rules are that, you know, you go out, you date, you do whatever it is that you want to do. Like, 
I'm not going to be asking you what you're doing. I don't want you to be asking me what I'm doing. Like, we are separated. I mean, I just, I, try, I tried. I really did try. And so then when I, I couldn't, I, um, the kind of things that I had been, I want to say putting up with, but, you know, this became more apparent to me, I guess. And um, I just couldn't, I, I guess I couldn't do that anymore. And I finally just had a, a, a breaking point, but I, I really thought it would come back, you know? I thought, okay, well, this is just a temporary thing, yeah. And? and then it did it. What is appropriate for husbands when it comes to communicating with other women on social media? You're not supposed to murder. I, I think Instagram is literally the worst thing for relationships. I hate it. I think it's terrible. I, I've had like a fight with mom over that. I hate that. I wish I was the kind of person that could just slap that type of thing off and be like, oh, look at you. But I don't. And not only is it, does it feel disrespectful, but it also is like we're in the public eye and people can see who you follow and comment. You know, you're really disrespecting your spouse in a public forum. And that's like, even worse, that's even worse. Mo certainly knows that his wife would not tolerate him engaging with younger, attractive women on social media. There might be another couple that the wife would not mind at all. If Marcellus wanted to look at beautiful women on Instagram, we don't have rules per se, but I also don't have trust issues. My husband is the one who, when we first started dating, we would go places and he would be like, oh, um, honey, I slept with her before. So it's like, if you like somebody's picture and I know it's so-and-so that you used to date in 2003, I, why would I be upset about that? I already know that you used to date her. Me and ourselves are different though. We have the horrible conversations. We have the worst conversations. Like we talk about the worst stuff. Like people always want it like rainbows and butterflies and like, Husband, tell me, like, like eight and a half. Marcellus calls me eight and a half, and you're like, how does that make you feel? I'm like, great, it's a badge of honor. Like, I, and I, it's so funny, because I asked so many of my girlfriends that. I'm like, what would you do if your husband said you were eight and a half? Oh my God, I, I'd be so upset, and I'd divorce him. I'd be so, I'm like, why? Like, like, I'm not that woman. Like, I don't need, like, don't lie to me. Like, keep it real. That's, that's why I trust my husband, because he always is real with me. He's not going to call me a 10, because I'm not a 10. Like, right? So why would I ever think he's lying? Because he tells me all the bad stuff, right? I'm not talking about like, if Mo's liking your photos on Instagram or says something, that's totally different. Yeah. I'm, it's, I'm talking about something that doesn't, that's doesn't make really unnecessary. Sense. Right. And makes me want to grow a horn and a tail and kill people. It happens. <laughs> it happens. That's why I was so glad I was married to someone much older. Didn't even know what social media was. Didn't didn't help much, but you know there wasn't that. Lucky. Yeah. Well, I got <laughs> over in a lot of other ways. But also, you don't have to follow every single person and like all their oh photos. But yeah, no, I don't like that at all. I've come to realize that, you know, there's a big chance that we're not going to end up together. What is the issue that the two of you can't let go of? There were things that happened that made me lose my trust. I wasn't able to recover from. How did you feel seeing photos of he and Emma holding him? Not feel good. How did you take it, Dorit? I didn't like it. When I saw it, it, it felt like me seeing PK holding another woman's hand. Mo. Yeah. Is that sausage? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's sausage. It's just chicken sausage if you ask for it. I'm all right, you? You made it home. I spoke to you last night. Dorit's dress is beautiful. Erica's dress is short. <laughs> Who wins? My wife. If, if we had to take the wives out of the... Who wins? Who wins? Your wife. No, both wives are out. Oh, so I have to pick anybody but your anybody. wife and my wife? Are there conversations about someone moving out? Yes, there has been now. 
who would move out? Um... He would. He would. He, yeah. How are the kids handling this? My girls are so strong and supportive, and but you know it's painful for it's everybody. Very... What's wrong, Porsche? Come here. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. It's very painful, even though you go through things with people. He, he's my family, he's my niece's father. And now looking back, I would say for the last two, or maybe three years, you've been traveling when you're not doing housewives, you're going all over. And little by little, people enjoy some success and they start to go off in different directions. And you're busy like the hamster in the cage chasing your tail, no time to think about anything. And then all of a sudden, you have this devastation. Do you talk about divorce or you're just taking one step at a time? It's hard for us to say that word, I think. But, I mean, I mean if he's looking for a place to move out and I haven't really seen in progress you know we get along well but like friends yeah i want to turn to the person that got everyone talking this season and that's your friend morgan wade <sighs> Ooh, what do we have here you better live it up 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 i know a strapiana when i see one Ooh. Get the strap, you better live it up. Get the strap, you better live it up. Dyke that dyke. Dyke that dyke. You better live it up. I know a strapiana when I see one. What do we have here? Dyke that dyke. Dyke that dyke. You better live it up. 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 Get the strap. There's been a big response to the two of you. What's been her reaction to seeing herself on the show? She's never seen the show, and she did not realize the, the attention it gets. It was a lot of scrutiny for her. She was not comfortable with. Clearly, just don't don't overthink. You just mm -mm. I'm, a little, I'm a little covered. Yeah. Can you imagine I show up at my house with a throat tattoo? <laughs> Where am I gonna put it? That's the other thing. That's on you. Did I tell you that Mo asked me how many I had, and he said he didn't know. Initially, I was drawn to Morgan by her music. Morgan's lyrics really spoke to me because she was just so raw and open and honest and just putting it all out there. You say I'm too young for you. You're scared I'm too young for you. And I admire that in someone, especially someone who has struggled with that myself. I appreciate that quality in someone. Dory, what did you think? Are they together? It looked like you guys were girlfriends. <sighs> Ooh. Boy, you what do we have here? Boy, you got it. Hit them dralics while I ride it. You better live while it up. Ride it. You better live while it up. Ride it. You better live while it up. I, ride it. I know a strapiana when I see one. While I ride it. You better live while it up. Ride it. So excited, so exotic. You better live it up. So you better live it up. So exotic. You better live it up. While I ride it. You better live it up. I know a strapiana when I so see exotic. one. Ooh. While I ride it. What do we have here? Baby. 
You better live it up. 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 You kind of made her a household name. Like I said, you know, she cares about making music, and she, I, she I think really she would does. really give up being a household name just to be able to keep making her music and not have that scrutiny. But, like, when did you decide to do the music video? Among, like, when? Why or when? Yeah, like, when? Like, during? Um, the music video was done, actually, right, like, about, I want to say a month before that story broke. About Momi. Are you a couple? No. It's not about our family. It's not about external family. It's not about another person on his side or my side. Kyle, could you see yourself with Morgan? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, by the way, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe next year she'll be out here on the couch with us. Who knows? You never know. You never know. I've never met oh, Carmen. I'm like, oh, 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 I always have loved. I thought you're so beautiful. Thank you. So nice to meet you. I know. Gorgeous. You're a Housewives fan. I am. Are you kidding? I don't miss is. a show. Yeah. I'm addicted. You should be on. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll give, I will I'll scissor you. I will scissor you. Oh I'm, what is that? Oh my God. You, I didn't you know what. You need a haircut. By the way, that was that was, that was um from those cards they asked yeah. us, you yeah. know. But, but I like uh, you I have such good energy. <laughs> you so much fun. And then when you guys sleep in rooms, I'm like. I will up in her room because we'd be just be having fun. We'll give her a little trim. <laughs> we we do have fun. Or you can sleep in Kathy's room where she'll keep you up all night chewing chips. <laughs> well, she'll love that. I love that. I right? like your fan and your whole setup. Exactly. And you have to get a beauty restaurant. Yeah. See, this is Absolutely. fun. I saw when she came, I saw there's Carmen Electra. This season on the show, yeah. we saw everything happen with you and Mauricio. How are you doing and how's he doing? Uh, you know, we're doing okay. We're actually pretty good considering we're very good friends you know we always were even you know as a married couple so we live in the same house and we're a family so it's really we're, we're doing good considering it's a it's a, it's a relatable story many people go through that in america i guess i never thought we'd be in I the situation thought. no and you know to be getting along like this and having dinner and just like but not together but not together you know i don't know also we're getting ready for was it the third week the the third three reunion. the three third yeah, reunion third how many are we gonna get i'm so sorry I, I i i'm sorry but i feel like i've been following you through the years what can we expect well, next week or this week this will be my hardest part of the reunion for me it's the third and the last and then i can finally exhale yeah. breathe hopefully and put this season behind me you said something that really, I feel like, resonated with a lot of people when you said, since the beginning, you know, you've seen, you've had your daughter's, like, second birthday. You know, you've, you, so many of us have seen so much of your life. So when people give you a hard time about not showing your life, you're like, wait, I have shown my life. How do you feel about future seasons and where you stand with continuing to do that? Well, you know, people keep asking me, are you going to come back? Are you going to leave? And it's always something I decide, you know, last minute, sort of, but... I think this season particularly because I have been so under the microscope, not just, you know, with the cast and the public eye and um, it's been very challenging to, you know, navigate through that one. I'm just trying to figure out my life myself. So I, I it'll just be a, a end of the moment, uh, last minute decision is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I will be seeing Mauricio and your daughters for buying Beverly Hills, talking about the new show. What's it like having your kids in the, in the business? Well, it was really scary for me in the beginning, let me tell you, but I am grateful that my experience, you know, does come in handy because I could advise them, you know, and they would come to me and stressing out about stuff. So, um, but I'm proud of them. You know, they're really smart girls. They're business women. Um, they have a good head on their shoulders. So they're tough. They can take it. Um, yeah. Let them know you said that. I'm gonna be like, I talked to mom, and this is what she said. Yeah, right, I love yeah. when they come home and be like, I didn't like that this happened. I told them. My mom said I'm not gonna say anything I don't want to say. And I was like, oh, they probably really love me over there. Uh, <laughs> that was you. a very vulnerable, real moment about life. And anyone who's been in a long-term marriage, um, there are times where this point comes. What What was it? What did happen? What caused this to happen? 
Oh my gosh, you know, that's a big question. I think there were certain things that were there and then we had kind of been putting on the back burner for a long time. You know, you're pregnant and you're breastfeeding and yeah. then it was working and juggling the kids and you mm -hmm. kind of forget about it and it, you know, resurfaces again. Mm -hmm. And I think it just, I kind of came to a, a I would say a breaking point, mm -hmm. honestly. You've and I'd gone through a lot. I lost my best friend. And I think that really does change you and makes you look at things differently. I think that's important to underscore. Yeah. You, you had a friend who died. Yeah, by suicide. By suicide. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that does make you say, you, you reevaluate your whole life. Yes. Like, wait, what am I doing? Yeah. Like, life is short. This just happened. So how did you reassess in that moment? Well, I think I do think that had a big part of it, definitely. But just what, you know, you're willing to um, accept and not accept. And mm. it's hard because, you know, like I said in this clip, you know, it's not like there was one big thing. And, you know, we do love each other very much and have a lot of respect for each other. So that makes it even harder to make a yeah. decision like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, it well, would be and y'all have a lot of kids. You have a big family. You have a big family. You have 20 plus years of history, mm -hmm. of sharing 28 history. 28 years being married. 28, almost yes, 30. Yeah. So yeah. where, what is happening today? What's the current status? So the current status is um, we live under the same roof. It feels so funny to talk about like that. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I'm in the therapist's office. I'm like, oh, so anyway, that's what we try. We live under the same roof yeah. um, in different rooms. And um, it's just sort of like, we, you know, we are fortunate enough. We have other homes and he kind of come and go. And, and when we are all there, it's just sort of like, you know, if he's there for dinner, great. And it's just. So it's friendly. Yeah, it's friendly. Yeah. It is. Um, do you feel like there's we would never fight? Or, you know, yeah, I was going to say, we off. had your husband on when I think it was right yes. in the beginning of this. And he was lovely the way he spoke about you. you. The way you he mainly about, talked about you the entire time, yeah, <laughs> even though we knew that you know there was some turmoil there. So there's right. a mutual respect, which is probably the reason that it, you're both going to be OK. Do you, I, I think so. I mean, it's really hard. It was really hard to um, shoot this season. Because when the cameras went up, we had not even shared this with our daughters. Mm. And, you know, I have a job to, you know, to share my life and to be honest. And I've always have been. And he wasn't really ready to share that. So mm -hmm. that was a very challenging for me to, you know, kind of balance that. And then I thought, you know, this is pretty apparent. So I'm just going to have to just put this out there that things are not great right now. Yeah. Wow. Is there a chance that yeah. you guys will can make it through this? I mean, I, I really don't know what my future holds right now, yeah, to be honest, which is the weirdest part yeah. of all of this is, you know, I've always had so much stability my entire life. Mm -hmm. And to feel like, oh, I don't really know Feels where weird. my future is, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, next week. <laughs> right. So and, and watching this clip, too, I mean, mm -hmm. the fact that you have to live this publicly, mm -hmm. especially as a mother, yes. um, as a human who yeah. has, you know, a open, beautiful heart, mm -hmm. it must be. Right hard it is very difficult because people um even people who mean well <laughs> they're like what are you doing you know go home like you you don't, don't live in our home you, don't know what's going on. you think i wanted to be in this position after being married all this no, you right. know time yeah i mean i don't I mean my dream was to you know be married forever and yeah. grow old with this person i did not want to be in this position trust me mm -hmm. so um you know, it is hard living it out in the public eye. Well, I do think people weighing in and just blurting out their own opinions to you. Does it? Does that get to you when people do things like that? Well, it's it's also it's their fantasy. You know, yeah. if people say to me, you know, you were my inspiration, and yeah. um, I get that I'm ruining their fantasy. <laughs> I mean, I even had close friends, you know, who are really yeah. you know upset about it at first, and yeah. you know that I hadn't shared certain things with. So. Um, I, I understand that. And I, there's also so many sweet messages and people yeah, saying, of course. I admire your strength yeah, yes. and, you know, you're inspiring to me. I'm like, this is not a message. Everyone go out and leave their husbands. Okay? <laughs> yeah, right. But, you know, I do get a lot of that and uh, so much support. Mm -hmm. So season 13. Wow. Does it feel like that you want to keep coming back? It feels like season 300 right now. <laughs> um, do I want to keep going? I mean, this is a decision I make, you know, every year after. I, this year more than ever, of course, I thought, mm, do I really, really want to do this? It's some people who especially watch Beverly Hills have literally seen you, you grow up. Um, has there ever been a part where you're like, in this for you too, Mauricio, where you're like, you know what? I don't know if I want to keep doing reality. And then why would you, why did you decide that you then want to do this or continue with this show as well? Girls? Mm -hmm. um, 
Well, I think that being part of um, Real House of Beverly Hills was more my mom's thing. Mm -hmm. They lived at home, so I wasn't really that much involved in it. Mm -hmm. Beverly, buying Beverly Hills came along and it seemed just like, you know, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Who knows where this could go? Who knows where this could take us with our business? Um, we, this is a real estate focused show. Of course, this year things kind of changed a little and part of our personal lives is, it's inevitably part of our lives. But at the end of the day, you know, I think that we just want this to be great for our company and for business. And um, I think it's more of a question of the other show is mm -hmm. the issue, <laughs> maybe. And for this one, it's, it's exciting. It's not supposed to be based on drama and be so heavy. We're, we're here to sell real estate and teach people um, about real estate. So that's what our focus is. Yeah, from my perspective, I just wanted to create a show that was, you know, gave lessons. Um, whatever that means, life lessons, uh, real estate lessons, business lessons. I mean, I remember receiving an email from a CEO of a Fortune 500 company saying to me after season one, saying, thank you so much. I got the chance to see how you um, um, interacted with your daughters and it actually helped me uh, interact with my daughter um, and watching what you're doing. And I just love, you know, getting that, you know, an email like that. Um, and, uh, and it was just so awesome. Uh, from my perspective, yeah, sometimes I feel like, oh, the, the public eye and just all the scrutiny and, you know, particularly right now going through the separation with Kyle, um, speculation, scrutiny and all of that, it's, it's, it's annoying. Uh, but at the end of the day, we've been on television for so many years um, and I really wanted to create, you know, a really fun, um, you know, real estate porn show that was exciting and that people could learn from. Do you ever feel like it's hard to say how you feel or give your opinion because it's like as soon as you say something you may wake up and there is like a headline about it and is there anything that you've said that you regret or maybe wish you didn't say oh i'm sure there's plenty of things that i've said that i regret and wish i didn't say and uh you know it just happens all the time uh, i can't think of one particular thing right now um but it happens all the time and and yeah it's very difficult that it's just you know so much all, all of those you know eyeballs and um, you know, not being able to live, you know, under any sort of privacy or anything like that. That's definitely a very, uh, a huge sacrifice that I think we all, you know, accept, you know, when we want to be on reality television. And it's a sacrifice that I think um, anybody on, on reality television, on any show, um, has to make in order to, you know, to, to do it. So it's tough. When families go through stuff, you know, we normally get to go through it in the privacy of our own home, um, unless, you know, people say things on social media but for the most part it's between you and your small group of people um but for you guys it's different is it hard for you to see things that go on with your parents or to have these conversations on television or are you okay with being able to open up that part of your lives as well as other parts i feel like this whole thing kind of unfolded in the middle of filming so it would have felt weird to continue filming and pretending like our lives didn't just change so much yeah and so it almost felt natural to open up about it on the show but then i think hearing everyone's responses to that is just so hard because you really can't do anything right like on the housewives everyone is like you need to share more you're being so closed off and then we open up on this show and everyone's like this should have been handled privately at home like there's just no right way to handle it and so that's probably the worst part about yeah. all of it i just wish everyone was like nice and empathetic that would make it a lot easier crystal was on a podcast and she had said i made everybody wait at the reunion for two hours what do we think about the reunion looks last night um obviously um I thought you looked very pretty. Thank you. Um, I liked your dress. Mm -hmm. um, what did we think of Dorit's look? Well, when she walked in, we were all like, okay, so this is what really pissed me off. We were we had to wait two hours for her to get ready. <gasps> no. Yeah. For that curl? That took two hours? For the curl. Yeah, we were yeah. like, so we were sitting in the, you know, me and, uh, me and Sutton were outside, like, we were just waiting and waiting. I mean, the hair is so simple. It's just pulled back. Oh, and yeah. And then there's like that little piece in the front. Yeah. And so then there's like a hoodie. Thing, Sutton texted you know? me. She was so mad because we saw Dorit was like posting all these like TikTok videos of like getting ready. And we're like, that's what she's been like. Like we got there at like 530. And then we didn't sit down. We didn't start to like 10 or something. We were so annoyed. Well, I noticed, A, that you guys were all sitting on the stage 
and she was the last one to sit down. Yeah. And I also, you could hear Andy. I mean, mm-hmm. he said, he's like, I'm so glad I got here at 8.30. Yeah. <laughs> and she's waiting. not ready. And they're literally sewing it on her. Yeah. So we didn't, look, if she has like a wild uh, uh, wardrobe malfunction, I get that. But then we were watching all these videos of her like playing around in there. I was like, Ugh. It's like rude. Like I'd rather sleep in or take my kids to school. I don't want right. to leave at five. Yeah. So realistically, everyone was okay. Let's. Everybody was ready. Yeah, I mean, like we're everyone's always delayed like thirty minutes, which is normal. Okay, like you know, everyone's just like, wait, wait, ten more minutes and whatever. But they didn't. They didn't make us sit on the couch the whole time. But we were sitting in our dressing rooms. Like, hold on, hold on. It was like. So what time that? were you supposed to start shooting? Um, I think we were supposed to start at like. 8.15 or something. And 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 naturally, you're going to run 30 minutes late, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. now it's 8.45, but that's fine. That's yeah. every, Everyone's kind of like a 30-minute grace period. Yeah. When was Dorit ready? It was like 10. Bold-faced lie. And she knows it. I can't believe how proficient she is at lying. She knows full well that I had a wardrobe, wardrobe malfunction. And the brilliant wardrobe team had to sew me into the dress. Her saying that I made everybody wait two hours because I was doing TikToks is a lie. The TikToks that I did, and you can even see in the TikTok, it's dark, was after the reunion. The first part of the TikTok where I'm in my trailer in jeans was probably even before half of the cast even got to set. Why do you think that that was said? Crystal is trying desperately to salvage another year. She's told me a lot of things. You know, I, I'm I'm never going to share what she shared in confidence, but it's very interesting seeing how she's behaving. Right. Hold on, because I was about to ask myself, why the fuck are y'all so afraid of Kathy? What the fuck she got going on? Is she a mob boss? But then I realized she is kind of the grand dame of Beverly Hills. So maybe, I don't know what that entails. But I see she got bitches shaking now just by looking at them. What's going on in this hoe? Kathy, you a witch of hocus pocus because you shot that look towards Miss Sutton and she got to Harlem shaking like a motherfucker. <laughs> I, I love the holidays so much, and yeah, I felt I like I didn't get to enjoy it enough. Is your tree still up? Or you still have your stuff up? I just took it down. Oh, wow. What's going on here? And you can clearly see Kathy does not give a fuck about Miss Sutton over there in the corner. Harlem shaking in this bitch because they're literally talking about Christmas trees. And it's all twisted up and shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so as Kathy and Erica are talking about Christmas trees, you see Sutton and the rest of the girls are trying to, well, the rest of the girls are trying to support Sutton Harlem shaking right now. And I'm not making fun of Sutton Harlem shaking. I'm just saying, like, what's... All of a sudden, Kathy look at you. I'm not sure if it was editing or what, but she look at you and then you start... Whoa. I don't want that bitch to ever look at me. She got Medusa-like power. She just making bitches shake by looking at them. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Um... What? He would. He would. He would. Um... How are the kids handling that? He. How the fuck do you think her kids are doing? She's getting a divorce and it's being played out in the media on a reality show that you helped put on TV. I'm not blaming the reality show for the divorce. I'm just saying, why would you ask such a dumbass question? Duh, they not doing well, bitch, as Dorinda would say. These are some dumbass questions. What the fuck is Mauricio? That's the question I have. Y'all normally at the Real Housewives of New Jersey reunions have them tired ass husbands there lined up at the back of their wives, ready to speak more than their wives. What the fuck is Mauricio? He can't answer these questions. He too busy answering them on Netflix on his other show and not on this show. What's going on? Get it together and get some better questions in this bitch. And where the fuck is more? I'm sorry for all this cussing, but where's Morgan? I... That, Let's dead all of this. I want all of these people here so I can see with my own eyes and get my own answers with my ears. The right questions that need to be asked, not these dumbass questions that you are asking right now. 
Even though you go through things with people, he... Blushed. Okay, where is Mauricio, as I just said in my last interruption? I don't want to hear you bitches speak and talk for him. Where is he? Bring him here. If we're going to do it like this, when we have the Real Housewives of New Jersey, don't have them husbands there because those bitches be getting on my nerves. Don't have them there if we're not going to have husbands here doing their jobs that they are supposed to be here for. Isn't he getting paid to be on the show? Y'all say husbands don't get paid to be on the show, but I doubt they don't get paid to be on the show. I mean, maybe he doesn't. And that's why he's spilling it on Netflix. But get your ass here. I'm sick of this. Ew. Uh, like JK, but like maybe not. But thank you for watching. But you hating ass bitches always have something to say. Hating ass bitch, but you're still watching my vids. What? 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 <laughs> you're so upset. But that's like okay because have a piece of bread, have a Xanax, relax because I said what I said.